VDC on or VDC off? That is the question. See, now that we know from the first part what the VDC system is supposed to do in the car, how about we actually get in the car and put it to test, see what the car actually does with the VDC system, theory versus practice, right? And I had an opportunity, the weather wasn't all that good, the road conditions were a little rough, which means it was perfect for the kind of test I wanted to do. So ride with me and let's see. Okay, how about now? So I'm coming up to a red light, and what I'm trying to do is go up the hill. Probably can't tell much, but it's really snowy. So what I want to do is say rear wheel drive, 340 horses, might be a little bit of spinning, right? Well, how about we just get on the gas and just go? Did you hear that sound? <laughs> that was crazy. But that was that buzzing sound. That's the ABS pump doing its thing. We're kicking the testing up a notch. For example, I know where I'm starting right now. And I'm going to show an example of how I drive. This is with VDC on. All I'm trying to do is go straight. So this, well, straightish. All right. So I'm gonna put it in, in D and just mash the gas and go. I wanna see how straight I go, okay? Fairly straight, right? And that's, then that's ABS. Okay, let's whip it around and go the opposite direction. I have a camera on the outside recording this. I don't know if you can see the tracks I made on the way here. <laughs> I like the way it sounds. All right, so that's with VDC on. Let's whip around. And yeah, same thing, just hit the gas and see what happens. I'm trying to go straight all the way down there. All right, go. It gets there eventually, but boy, <laughs> was it kind of hairy. And you can kind of see the, the path it's a little more squiggly with the VDC off. Let's go back. See no flashing. Whoa. Well, stopping there's not much of a difference because you either got traction or you don't, right? And now, what I'm gonna do is drive around the light pole. My goodness, relax. I have my camera set up over there, that little guy over there, and I'm gonna drive around that light pole. Kinda of whip it around as hard as I can just to see what it does. 
these are the kind of videos that end up on fails, right? Anyway, so there it is. I'm going to try to whip around it as best as I can. I have my traction control. I want to move in a controlled circle so that the, the, let me turn my lights on, so that the car can tell that my steering wheel, it tells by your steering angle sensor where you're trying to go. So I want to see, turn it and come back to the, to relatively the same spot. All right, let's go. Sliding a little bit, but you notice it cut power. It's cutting power. My foot's in the same place. It breaks itself. As I said, foot's in the same place. There you go. It's going crazy. Foot's in the same place, but it's not moving at all. Again, look at that. Can't barely whip it. Barely stopped itself <laughs> okay so I'm gonna drive around carefully wow look at the circles kind of been going crazy all right I'm gonna stop in relatively the same position VDC off. See what happens this time. See what happens. All right, gas. All the way around, all the way around. But it cuts power, kind of. Well, it's not really cutting power, it just can't go anywhere. <laughs> Man, things that do for science, huh? Things that do for love. So again, watch the RPMs. <laughs> and just see what happens. Because as I said, the other time it cuts power, but this time, let's see what it does. <sighs> Going towards the camera, VDC off. Notice the RPMs just stay there. Whip it. This time my wheels are going crazy, I'll guarantee that. RPMs all the way, all the way. <laughs> so that is the, they call it the engine output management, the torque management part of it. And uh, it basically slows you down. All right, we're back. This time, what we're going to do is basically just hit the gas and go as hard as possible. I have my camera set up there. And it's pretty much on the left side of the camera. It's going to be me just getting on it. We're going to see, you know, wheel spin and all that. Okay. VDC on. Just hit the gas and go. Go. Pedal to the metal. This is what it's doing. I'm going straight. And if I want to turn, I'm going to turn. Well, decently. <laughs> Again, let's do this. Going the other way. Okay. Again, go straight that way towards those two lights. Go. Pedal to the metal. This is all it's giving me.
again. Hit the gas, pedal to the metal. We're trying to go straight over there. Let's see what happens. First, you notice the difference is that it's less forgiving, and that one it'll keep revving wherever you're trying to rev it to. <laughs> so, hopefully, you're a pretty good driver and you can modulate your gas, but your throttle. So you're not just mashing on it. Uh, for example, right now, going straight, instead of just mashing, I'll ease into it. But see, I still go a little sideways. You see that? All right, let's try it again. Wow, the tracks are dirtier. Let's go look at them. Probably messed up the camera too. So these tracks over here, these are the ones with VDC off. I'm going to see whether uh, the thing is, <laughs> whether both wheels are spinning or not, but look at the tracks laid. This side here, this was VDC on both ways. Looks a lot cleaner, right? Cleaner takeoff and whatnot. So is there a conclusion? A recommendation after all this yeah to me i'd rather use vdc in its on default position because it's better for the life and longevity of your tires it's better for your pumpkin that is your differential not only that it's better for the safety and stability of your vehicle so why not right